great scene here inside the ring. Jake, congratulations on a great win. Was that tougher than you expected it to be? Cleveland was good! Yeah, look, I don't know what to say by that. You know, he's a tough opponent. He's been boxing, fighting, striking, whatever you want to call it, for 20-something years. I've been doing this for three years as of a couple of days ago. This one's for my city. This one's for Cleveland. You know, it was a tougher fight than I expected. My legs felt weird since the locker room. I don't know what's wrong with me, but he's a tough opponent. All respect to Tyron. You know, he's a he's a Hall of Famer. He, he put up a good fight. He's a good boxer. He came in shape. I have nothing but respect to him. There was a lot of shit talk back and forth. It's no hard feelings, man, but this feels amazing to do this for my city, bring it home. This is a dream come true. I want to cry, but I'm a little tired. <laughs> Are you surprised one judge scored it for him? 100%, yeah. It's, I mean, let's be honest, that's bullshit. Like, got the big, come on. Got the <laughs> Especially in my hometown, like, where, where's that judge at? Come on. <laughs> but but he, he, he hit me with one shot the whole fight, you know? It was a good shot. Uh, he hit me with more shots, but I'm saying like a real shot, one shot. Uh, I don't know what they were looking at, but it's all good. Still got the victory. Got eight rounds under my belt. All my previous opponents went one minute. So for me to come in here in my first real eight-round fight, who's doing that? Who goes eight rounds in their first fight? You see Tommy Fury, 7-0. He goes four rounds. Yes, you know, I'm doing things that no one's done. Uh, and to go up against a Hall of Famer, a five-time UFC champion, and to win when all the pressure's on. Congratulations. He's a tough opponent. Look at him. He's jacked the shit. Well, you just mentioned Tommy Fury. He won earlier tonight, but you have the pick of the litter. You have called out names like Nathan Diaz. You have called out Jorge Masvidal. Is Fury next, or is someone else on your mind? Honestly, we'll see. I've been boxing for 18 months now. I haven't been to the dentist. I barely got my hair cut in like two years. My teeth are all crooked. My nose is crooked. I've dedicated my past 18 months to this. I haven't stopped. I think I might need to chill out for a second, figure out who I am. I'm only 24. I'm changing. I'm growing. I'm learning a lot. I'm going through ups and downs. I'm making mistakes, but I'm keeping my head on straight, and I'm going to just get back in the gym when I'm ready, and we'll see. You know, I want to thank Showtime, Steven Espinoza. This is the second biggest pay-per-view event of the whole entire year. Woo! This is the second biggest pay-per-view event of the whole entire year. Behind my brother and Mayweather. Woo! Behind this guy and Mayweather. Now we finally put an end to the question, to the debate. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, these aren't fighters. People are saying you just went eight rounds with a former UFC champion. Can we finally put an end to that debate? I think that debate was ended, you know, a year ago in the gym. But no one got to see that. You know, I didn't even fight my best tonight. I give myself a C-. minus. But like I said, my legs were shaky. Uh, this is my first time fighting in front of a crowd, you know, since my first amateur fight. Logan, what do you think of your brother's performance? Spectacular. I think uh, my, my voice is gone because I was screaming so loud. But um, in my opinion, I think we got the Jake Paul people didn't know existed. We saw him face some adversity for the first time in his boxing career, and he went up one of the greatest welterweights of all time. Tyron Woodley is an animal. And the fact that my brother was able to secure a victory after getting hit with a good, clean shot and come back. You know, you never know what happens after you feel that, that, that shot for the first time where you're a little bit rattled. You black out for a second. You may be not sure where you are. Who knows what was going through his head, but he knew he needed to fight, and he did that. I got so much love for this kid. I love Cleveland. I'm so happy to be here. I'm blessed. Tyron, also, we love you, bro. Come, come yeah. on. Come on. Well, congratulations. I do want to give Tyron a chance. Hey, I just want to say to all the kids out there, if you're ever getting bullied, keep your head up. Stay confident. Look to boxing. Boxing can give you confidence. And if you are bullying kids out there, it's not cool. I used to be a bully, okay? And then I realized it wasn't cool. Then when I started doing my thing, blowing up on the internet, people were hating on me, and it hurt my feelings. So just know if you're bullying someone, if you're bullying kids out there, stop it. Stop it. Find boxing. Find something that you love. Grow confidence in yourself because that shit hurts. Words hurt. My, my foundation, Boxing Bullies, is fighting against this. 
Keep your head up if you're getting bullied. Find something that's going to make you confident. I love you guys. I love everyone at home. Thank you. That is a great message. Tyron, I do want to get a word with you. Congrats on a great performance. How do you feel about what you accomplished out there? I feel like if that was the second biggest pay-per-view, the round two is going to be bigger than that. I feel like I won the fight. I feel like Jake's a great opponent. I didn't expect him to go down. Me and my coaches worked that. That's why I came in great shape, because I knew he can take a punch. But the fact that one judge gave me two rounds is laughable. No disrespect, but fuck the Fury fight. Me and Jake need to run that back. So you want an immediate rematch? Is that of interest? Off to you? the top, off the top, I want an instant rematch. Nobody gonna sell it. Nobody gonna sell a pay per view like we did. The Fury ain't gonna do that. Of course, I want a rematch. I felt like I won the fight. I felt like he was tough. I hit him. The ropes held him up. I landed more power shots when he threw the shots. They were hitting my glove. When he landed a clean shot, which he did, he landed clean shots, and I knew he had heavy hands. But nobody, I didn't hit the ground like his other opponents. I walked him down. And I landed back. So let's run it back. Does that interest you, Jake? Hey, look, of course he wants the payday, you know, of course you want the payday, you had the fight, I don't want the payday, I want to fight. You had your opportunity, you had your opportunity. So you don't want to fight me again? I do, oh, oh, hey, you, you old news, fam, you, you had your chance. Logan, Logan, you had your chance, fall back. You had your chance, I was nothing but respectful to you right now. You, you the one that got wobbled, almost sent through the rope. If these fucking ropes wasn't seven foot two, you would have went through the ropes. I landed the power punches. You missed. Hey, hey. If you if you get the tattoo, You're not scared, run it back. If you if you if you get the tattoo, I love Jake Paul. Let's run it back. Bet. Let's go. Bet. Deal. Make the bet. with Tattoo Baby. We got the tattoo artist right here, so you ain't going nowhere. Tattoo tonight. Wipe the sweat off and shave that leg, because I'm putting I Love Jake Paul on your fucking leg, and then we can run it back. All right, well, Malki Kawa, who is Tyrant's manager, is saying to send the contract, Moro. I don't know if we just made an immediate rematch right here.